chillin'. Gonna look up for some uh, YouTube videos here on uh, Synthesizer YouTube. Just chillin', drinking a seltzer. Nothing weird going on. Oh look, a Ben Jordan video. A bunch of really talented developers and artists to create what is now referred to as the demo scene. <laughs> Isn't Ben Jordan funny? <laughs> but I could also slice. Wait a minute. How's he getting the shot? I want to be able to do shots like this. Oh look, a loop pop video. Either an arpeggiator, a 32 step monophonic sequencer, or just control up to three different instruments over MIDI or using control voltage. This is great. I'm also working on some synthesizer videos, but something's missing from mine. How are they getting these shots? All right, apparently it's called a top-down rig. Jeez, these are expensive. I can't afford this. Uh, excuse me. Gardner. Yes, creative personification for the abstract concept of self-doubt. Gardner, your videos aren't good without shots like this. Oh man, you're right. I'm a terrible YouTuber and my audience is smaller than theirs for this reason and this reason alone. Yes, you can't afford nice camera gear like they can. You'll have to continue to use your shitty Canon from 2015 and its stock tripod for all eternity. Oh man, that's right. I don't make any cash from YouTube and I can't afford nice things. I have to spend all my spare time running a construction business on the side. Yes, that's... Wait, what? I run a construction business on the side so that I can afford my YouTube and synthesizer habits. So you can... you can build things? Yeah? Oh, right! I can build things! Alright, I got my flannel on. I'm off to the hardware store. Be back in a bit, everybody. Hey there. While I'm at the store, yesterday, it's time to talk about the sponsor for today's video. Sobriety! Do you or a loved one have a problem with substance abuse? Are you drinking too much? Are you wishing that you hadn't drank the night before? Do you have a problem moderating? Do you seem to drink all the way until you're drunk, drunk, drunk every time you drink? Do you ever wake up after a night of drinking with a hangover and look in the mirror and absolutely hate yourself? Does this sound familiar to you? Does this happen too often? Well, if so, you're an alcoholic. I have good news. I'm also an alcoholic. If you or a loved one has a problem with drinking and would like to stop, please check out the link in the description below. You can find a meeting anywhere in the world. Don't wait, get help today. It costs you literally nothing and it will add years of joy to your life. All right, back to the show. Well, I'm back from the hardware store, and I have what is called a cut list, or at least I'm making a cut list. And this is just a list of the cuts that I need and what I want the thing to look by, like a rough sketch. I would show you this, it'd be a lot easier if I had, you know, overhead mount so I could draw in front of you, but I don't. It is very rainy and cold today in Georgia, so I'm going to be doing this work as fast as possible outside. After it's done, I'll show you a breakdown of how I decided to build it like I did and the reasons for that. Anyway, here's a funny video of me cutting things. Man, it's cold out here. So here I am in a moment of real salient wisdom, describing the cure for cancer that I discovered while I was cutting that wood, but unfortunately the mic was off, so now nobody gets it. All right. All right guys, as you can see, it works just fine. It's held on by a thumb screw, which is super cool. Um, like this, so it's very easy to take on and off. The crossbar is supported by uh, this cut right here. so. That's what I was saying, like, I'll explain the design later. All I needed to do was determine what I wanted the maximum height to be between the uh, viewing platter and the 
um, crossbar up top, cross member, um, and then I could just make that distance the interior distance from the desk top to the underside of the crossbar. After I had that measurement, all I needed was the size of my desk, which is 50 inches. So side to side on the outside of these feet, outside to outside is 50 inches, just like my desk. Um, and then I designed the uprights to have a let as, as if it was a four x four using two um, two by fours sandwiched together. And then I held them together with these awesome, um, I shudder to say Hillman and awesome in the same sentence, but these are pretty awesome. Um, uh, hand bolts from from Hillman and you can take these on and off that way I can store it because space in this tiny Atlanta home is limited uh, so there you go that's how it works uh, it all packs up nice and neatly and it cost me I think it was like 26 bucks where's my receipt uh, there you go total cost was 26.93 all right everybody as you can see I've got this looking fucking doy. I'm going to be using this upside down rig to film an episode on the Zoya, so stay tuned for that. All right, I'd call that a success. I've got it sitting right over here next to me. I think there's only one modification I'd like to do, and that's to add a plate, a quick, a quick uh, switch plate. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, I have them on the bottom of my tripods and my other grips and stuff, and they're... They're pretty easy to add. It basically allows you to take the camera on and off the thing really quickly without fucking around with the screw mount on the bottom. Because, um, you know, overuse of that screw mount eventually will strip it out and I don't really want to do that. I would like my shitty camera from 2015 to continue to last me until 2025. That'd be a very good life for a camera. Total build time was around, I'd say an hour to build it total, um, judging by the amount of footage it took to film the actual build. Um, I would say that assembly disassembly takes about 30 seconds. Um, and it fits nicely in my closet where I keep my gear in the hallway over there. And uh, it cost me $27, $26 and 90 something cents. So I'd say it was time well spent, money well spent. And now I can do cool shots like you just saw. If you thought this video was cool, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing if you wanna see more content like this. This isn't my normal type of video, although I have been doing more construction videos than not lately. Stay tuned if you wanna see that Zoya video and some other building stuff coming up in the future. Anyway, knuckleheads, that's gonna be it for me today. My name is Garden Sound. Keep it cool and don't let the bastards get you down. I'll see you next time.